Hello everyone, my name is Nico Gaudenzi and today I'm really excited to show you a new library for Unity called Koala Behavior Trees. In case you're not familiar with these, Behavior Trees are an artificial intelligence technique that allows you to design the behavior of your AI in a hierarchical structure and in a modular fashion which makes it really simple and really powerful. I'll be releasing videos for with the details of the of the Koala library, but for now let me just show you what it looks like. So here I have a simple play tag game. I am the green cube, and the green cube just follows the mouse, and the uh, the enemy is the white cube, and this is the tree that it's running its behavior. You can see that it's updating real time and right now it's just running the first branch of the tree called chase and it simply sets the pl the player's position as the next destination and then moves towards it and um, it has a while check before which checks if he is it or the player is it so right now it will just continue to go towards the last destination where it saw the player, but if it touches it, then it changes the behavior and goes to the avoid branch. Finally, because the player is not near, it simply stays idly in this branch of the tree. So now if I come near, it turns the avoid branch, which sets a random destination and then moves towards that destination in case it is it doesn't intersect where the player is. So now if I touch it again, bing, now it has the chase behavior again. So all these behaviors were done using the Koala library and this library is actually very simple to use. So let me showcase this. I'm gonna make a, f a new folder and I'm gonna call it tutorial. And then I'm simply going to create a Koala BT tree. And I'll just name it tree. Then I can go to the, to the non-player character, the white cube. And I'm going to lock my inspector so that, so that it always shows this, this character. And I'm going to put my tree inside the brain. Now I can create a new root. And now I can start adding nodes to the tree simply by going to my koala nodes and dragging different nodes into the tree. For example, here I, I can select a node and see the details on another inspector and I can start creating a very quick tree just by clicking and dragging. I can rearrange them inside the tree. I can make them one the child of another and I can take them out as well. And once I finished uh, editing my tree and filling up all the conditions it needs, I can simply save it. And you can see here that my tree right now only has a root. But if I click save tree, it includes copies of the trees I added and it stores them and serializes them inside a standard Unity scriptable object. This makes the serialization really robust and that way you never lose any information and you can design your whole AI without leaving the comfort of your, of your usual inspector. So Koala behavior trees right now include 14 structure nodes as well as some additional scriptable objects where, where I store methods for standard actions and conditions. It includes the play tag example we were talking about and it includes 10 uh, examples of uh, the use of different nodes. As I said, I really recommend that you watch the playlist where I go into the details of how each node works. But for now, I would like to show three interesting features that 
May koala behavior trees adapt to almost any situation very easily. The first one is the action node. And the action node actually takes, uh, creates an event that you can fill with methods that you wrote yourself. So let me show you a method. Uh, this is a, a simple method that I can use inside the, the event of the action node. And I've stored this method in a standard scriptable object called koala move actions. So I can uh, take my koala move actions and insert them here and I get access to those functions that I just defined. This way uh, it's very flexible because you only need to implement the actions that are specific to your project and you can use the tree structure in almost any situation. The second interesting feature is that uh, the koala trees themselves are nodes in trees. That means that, for example, I can go into my example trees and take one of them and make it a child of the tree I just created for this tutorial. In, in this way, you can really just uh, focus on designing each modular behavior by itself and then using it as a piece in a, in a more complex behavior. Another example of this is the play tag tree, which is uh, actually made up of three different trees, the chase, avoid, and idle. And uh, yeah, as I said, this, this helps a lot for modular design. The final thing I would like to show is that uh, you can test how your trees are working even without leaving the, the editor. I mean, you don't need to run the game. You can tick them inside the editor and it will actually perform the operations that you assign to it. So this way you can debug really fast and you can also add debug information for each node. So I hope you like it. Please check the, the playlist with the details and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.